Praise the Lord. Amen. To God alone be the glory. Thanks be unto God. We give him all the praise today. Thank God. We don't we want to talk about um the mark of the beast. We're gonna talk about Sharia law and Islam. Years ago, back in Houston, I had a dream about the flag hanging over America. And the flag turned from the American flag to a brown flag, to like, like, like it just a different color flag. But we all know that Islam's color is green, okay? Praise God. And it's becoming to me more real now that... Uh, months ago, they said the White House was sold, was bought. So they're doing undercover stuff. The mark of the beast is it's nigh. It's nigh, very nigh. The mark, 666, you know, that's when in the book of Revelation say you won't be able to buy or sell unless you have the mark in your head or in your hand. And men are not talking about this here, but this is still getting ready to happen. All of this trouble going on, that's a true sign of the Antichrist is getting ready to step on the scene. I've even heard where they done built the third uh, altar out there in Jerusalem. You know, that the red heifers that they brought in, they preparing everything to... You know, they said that red heifers had to be pure red. They couldn't have no blemishes on them, and they have them. You know, so all of this stuff is going on. The devil trying to distract. In the last days, it's a lot of distraction going on. So he, he wants you to keep your focus on this world and what's going on in this world. You all seen what just happened to this billionaire coming to America, right? We've been preaching time after time after time. My condolences go out to his family. To his, you know, the family that's left because his wife and the son, they said they all dropped down with the helicopter. We never know when it's our last day. We keep preaching time in, time out. I don't care what country you're in, America, Africa, Switzerland, wherever you are. People's laughing at us. Because the Bible said in Jude, they will be mocking us. The rapture may not come on your time clock. Things can happen to you just like it happened to this billionaire and the CEO in the airplane. You can lose your life instantly like this now. Or in a car accident, anything. People dropping dead now. Sisters and brothers and those listening. Do you have your house in order? That's the question. Anywho, the White House is set up for Islam. The Muslims is already in the gates. That's who them took over. Y'all see the hotels full of Muslims? Y'all see the hotels? Y'all see the grocery stores? Do, do y'all see the gas stations? Open up your eyes, people. Do you see what's going on? It's right now, face. They're going to change the American laws and constitution. Y'all get ready. It's already set up. Islam going to be running America. Praise God. Let's talk about Islam. First, let's talk about it. A religion that calls itself a religion of peace. They call themselves peace, but they, they're not of peace. They are murder and killing. During Ramadan, Muslims fast morning and evening for 30 days. They pray five times a day and attend their services in the mosque. The Quran, which was written by a murderous spirit, talks about infidels. And if you were to become a Muslim, and then converts to a different religion. The Quran commands that you be murdered. That's their laws. Muslims torture their victims to the point of no return. Killing them right now in Iran. They, they hang people over there, man. 
Y'all don't know what's coming up on this earth. That's why we keep preaching to y'all. Y'all get saved. Because if you left behind, and when this new America come into full term, it's going to be like none other. It won't be free America anymore. They even take their own lives, which is a suicide spirit. In the name of Allah, who in my opinion, as a former, who in my opinion, is no God at all, but a demonic principality. In fact, in my form, in the former days, you know, we dealt with demonic spirits. I come from a large family, uh, a family of witches and warlocks, Freemasonry, Eastern Star. And they had covenants. They had, they did things. They didn't think we knew what was going on. If you look at the mosque in Mecca, the most common color you see on their doors and flags is green. Then how is it that this religion of peace can get you to heaven? Okay. Islam is a religion that calls itself peace, but it's not peace. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. There's no other way to get to heaven. Jesus is the way, the truth, and life. When the new president, when they change everything and everything changes over, switches over, the flag is going to hang over America. It won't be red, white, and blue anymore. It's already in progress. The Sharia law is what they're going to bring. That's why we've been warning y'all to get saved, get saved, get saved. Because there were 30,000 guillotines, Obama order, when he was in power. Those 30,000 guillotines is where to chop the Christians' necks off. It's going to happen. For those not born again and ready to meet the Lord, that, that God, you will get your neck chopped off. This is, no, this is not the scary TikTok. This is for educational purposes. The Constitution must be subordinate to Sharia law. This was coming. There are evangelists being slain, some being shot in the head, some being killed right now in other countries, in other countries. Islam is not of 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 love it's of and peace it's not when the Sharia law come out and this is what they go uh, uh come out with as soon as they change everything in America when the Antichrist step on the scene if you don't bow down to the Antichrist you're gonna lose your head Sharia law you kill your daughter if she have premarital sex that's their laws. You kill every homosexual, I heard. <coughs> every homosexual going to die <coughs> in the Sharia law. You kill every apostate. Praise God. This is strong here today. If you don't agree with Islam, you will... Get your head chopped off. And you kill every Christian. <coughs> Excuse me. Every Christian, the devil don't want me to say this. See, I'm, I'm talking some real stuff here. Yeah, he pushing at me because this is real tight. So I'm telling you now, it's time to get right. Get born again. They don't care if it's your daughter. They don't care if it's your son. They have laws and rules that they've done set up already in America for the American people. That's why they let so many into this nation. Those are Islam people. I just got a short time here. I just wanted to bring some of that out. Maybe I'll do part two soon. I love you. God bless you. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Right?